customer complaint is a check engine line, uh, check engine light, sorry. Uh, he went over to the dealer, they, you know, they replaced something on the canister and the same code came back on, which is for the MBLD, natural uh, vacuum uh, detection system. Um, we have, uh, I find out that it's a line disconnection. So something is um, uh, not working. So the line on this uh, system, let me just make sure I got no information in here. So this is just our overall of the engine computer uh, wire diagram. This is 8248 uh, is the actual uh, MBLD. If I click on that, I will see where that is located, which is, which is right at the tank. It's a five pin connector. Uh, they will give me a brief description of what this will do. Uh, not really necessary for me. I just needed to know where the pin goes from here to the engine computer, which I found. And I did a jumper wire because I checked for continuity. It's no continuity. I now need to find out where the, where, where the wire is broken. But so what I did in order to clear the code and um, get, uh, you know, um, make sure that everything else is working good is just went over the cable and here is a five pin connector is the black and red. So I pierce the wire, I will put, you know, electrical liquid tape to close the hole that I, that I poke with this. But then I put a jumper wire all the way up to the front. This vehicle has two DMEs. So on the driver's side, sorry, on the passenger side, it will be the third connector down and then pin 37, which is also black and red. So it looks like it is a straight wire from here to the back. And then the other DME is on the other side. So again, I just went ahead and uh, plug this and now the code erase. And this is the way the communication on that wire look. This is the diagnostic uh, wire for the MBLD. It's a zero to 12, zero to, actually I can put some cursors, but you know, like a zero to 11 and a half volts. This is actually already recorded, but I can put it live. As you can see, it's, it's um. It's only when it's looking for diagnosis. So it's not a constant communication. That's what I stop it. And I, you know, I can always zoom out. Actually, that was not even, that was just a recording. So if I see right now, there is no activity on the wire because uh, maybe it's not doing any communication. Okay, right there, you see, now it's doing it. So now I can stop it in here. I put a two seconds per division I click on the zoom, that's the way it's not gonna work. I go here, and then I can start zooming in to see a little more of how that looks. And that's just a normal um, looking signal. We can put some cursors if we want. Um, I've been not using these cursors for so much time that I don't remember. Yeah, we don't have a horizontal cursors I don't remember and, and a snap them but that actually works so it's 11 and a half to 0.27 so yep from 0 0.2 volts to 11 and a half hopefully you guys can see sorry for the glare but I'm just trying to help somebody out there that is looking for information how is the signal should look and don't get full because yeah when you have a line disconnection most likely you're going to have a problem with the wire obviously check powers and grounds and um, make sure that uh, the module they call that is looks like just as a pressure sensor with them, a switch going over to the canister valve or whatever in there uh, very simple but yeah this is something not even in the dealer could fix and i wanted to share this with you guys it's going to be definitely another short video that's what you're probably going to be getting from me from now on trying to just to give you some hints and repairs that I do. It's a very, very, very busy shop. Let me just give you a little look around the shop. So you guys can see what I'm working right now. Bavarian Motor Repairs, Capital Heights. Very happy to be here. This is a, a whole different experience. Uh, very beautiful people to work with. I'm very happy that's David working in there. He's a Mini Cooper Master Technician. And we have uh, Danny on the corner. He's probably working in a, in a BMW. He's a master BMW technician. And yes, like I said, I'm very happy here. That's my corner and that's where all my tools are. Pretty soon I'm gonna have another lift in here. 
and um, it's going to make a lot of easier for me to be working in two different cars, more production. But yeah, I'm very happy. Oh, guys, I will see you next time. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.